What's up, everybody? This is Blazing Ace Nelson back again. And uh, for this commentary, I figured I'd do something a little different. Well, first off, we're back with another episode of Blazing Ace Plays, so that's not the part that's different. What's different is the fact that, well, as of yesterday, I hit a bit of a pretty, well, I hit a pretty big milestone on my YouTube channel, and wound up getting my 50th subscriber, believe it or not. It's kind of a funny story because I was actually at work, and, you know, while I'm at work, at least while I'm at work at the arcade, I occasionally like to check my phone to see if I get any Gmail updates or if there's anything new on YouTube that I could watch during the slow points. It was during the day that I got a Gmail, I got a I got a new in sorry, I got a new message in my Gmail inbox from Dark Masamune87, you know, leaving a comment on my channel. And the moment I saw it, my face lit up like the freaking DDR machine I was standing next to. Congrats on the 50 subs. Mind It, it, it was it was great the rest of the day turned out fantastic went home picked up my fiance we went and saw G.I. Joe came back and unfortunately I wound up falling asleep so I couldn't get this put up or even recorded yesterday as opposed to today where I'm sitting at 52 subscribers now Anyway, with this and the next couple videos I want to try and put up before I leave for Arizona for Easter weekend, I want to show off some of the newer custom characters that I've created for Dynasty Warrior 7 Empires. If you guys haven't already, you know, sent me a friend request on the PSN, Ace Nelson 2010, look it up. If you guys haven't found me on the, if you guys haven't found me on the PSN yet, look me up. Take a look at some of the created characters that I've uploaded for people to use for Empires. If you have the game, you might like some of them, especially some of the officers that I've chosen to replace. But those guys I'll show off in a later video. For right now, I'm pretty much going to be getting started with the first of my team hack and slash created characters, starting with the one that I actually got set up to be the ruler for this particular playthrough. Saifei Long. Now, Saifei Long is the username that I use on the Koei Warriors forums, so you can find me there as well. But he's based off of a character that I was writing up for a admittedly ill-conceived Dynasty Warriors fanfic. But the character himself I felt was pretty cool, and, you know, I just wanted to stick with him. Uh, let's just go ahead and launch a skirmish real quick. Nothing too... Nothing too major, but, you know, something to actually show off the character. Now, seeing as how this is Dynasty Warriors 7, you know, I'm not really going to try and worry about going into technical aspects or explaining anything to you guys because it's 7. It's been out. You guys know what's up, so I'm just going to be a commentator, not so much a teacher this time. Of course, much like Jersey Boy and much like Dark Master Moon 87, shout outs to the both of you guys and the rest of Team Hack and Slash, by the way. When I sit down and I, you know, at the very least when I sit down and play Empires, I really start to get into it. You know, I 
get into the character and I occasionally do voices too. A little embarrassing, I gotta admit, but hey. What can you say when you're having fun, right? Speaking of having fun... Let's get down to it. Now first off, you'll notice that I actually have Fei Long wearing one of the newest DLC pieces available for Dynasty Warriors 7 Empires. And that's from the Sorcerer set. Kinda makes it look like he has a badass trench coat. Which, I mean, come on. Scope the yin and yang on the back. How can you not dig it? But anyway, as far as like character voices and stuff, with Fei Long, <clears throat> I usually try to go for a more Liam O'Brien approach. Something kind of dark. A little... <laughs> it could be better. But it could be worse. Now, as much as I actually wanted this character to have... Well, let me rephrase that. I've already got a character who uses the sword and hook set, which is the one that's actually based off of me. So I figured I'd go for something a little different and actually stick with the katana move set for Fei Long. If you know how Zhou Tai fights... And you've already got an idea of the damage that the ghost of Wu Zhang can do. Justice from the clouds! Strike down my enemies! <laughs> yes, I'm a bit of a dork. Deal with it. Two, three, four, five. Let's cut this crowd down to ahem. Let's cut this crowd down to size. Everyone, focus on your individual assignments. If you do so, our victory today is assured. Maybe it sounds a lot better to me than it does to the rest of you guys since, you know, I'm hearing it. But, seriously, the past... The past month and a half or so has been... Well, not a month and a half, the past... Well, ever since January... Hold on. What's our objective here? Battlefield info. Ah, Jiang Chen. Okay. Yeah, things have been pretty groovy ever since January. Just when I started picking up capture cards and actually going into recording and doing the commentary. I didn't really think I'd wind up with... You know, again, I... I didn't really think I'd wind up, like, on a team like Team Hack and Slash, or, you know, just getting so much support, not just from different YouTube users and commentary providers, but also just getting a lot of support from my friends and, and everyone else that actually watches the video. So it's, it's really cool to actually see how all this is taking shape and see how the channel as it exists now is really starting to grow.
So again, I really just want to thank everybody for subscribing to the channel, showing your support. Hopefully I'll be doing another milestone video for like my 100 or 200th or you know, something further down the line. Now earlier this morning I also noticed that in Dark Masamune's most recent video, his Guan Yin Ping walkthrough, I noticed that him and a couple of the others are actually planning on putting together a channel specifically for Team Hack and Slash. If you guys don't already, I would appreciate it if you'd head over, support the rest of the team, and uh, Masamune, Jersey, if you guys want to actually set up the channel, go for it. You know I'm down. But anyway, it looks like I got about four and a half minutes for this battle, so I should go ahead and finish it as quickly as I can. And maybe get back into character while I'm at it. <laughs> Face my blade! Your time is up. Justice from the clouds! Strike down my enemies! So it would appear the Tiger of John Dong is as persistent a foe as they say. Crossing you on the battlefield is a stroke of fortune in my favor. Impressive swordsmanship. Yet being an impressive fighter means nothing if you cannot if you cannot strike your opponent. If your sword strokes don't connect, then there's no point. Perhaps except the point being run through you. Let us finish this damn victory! Hmm. So you're able to see through my assault. Not bad for a pirate. However, you are no longer on the high seas. Your domain is far away. And in being the proverbial fish out of water, you leave yourself vulnerable. Stand and face your judgment! <laughs> that encounter went pretty much as I figured. Well, anyways, you guys, thanks again for watching the video. Thanks for thanks for riding along with me on this crazy trip. It's not over yet. So stick around and strap yourselves in. There's going to be more to come, not just from me, but from the rest of Team Hack and Slash down the road. So until then, this is Blazing Ace Nelson, and I'll see you next time.